KVTV. We're making a difference, Sioux City. Good afternoon, boys and girls, and welcome to Canyon Kids World. I'm Canyon, and today we're going to go on a fox hunt. The easiest thing I could think of as a costume was a, was a Western costume, a, a Western shirt and jeans. And I don't know where I came up with the name Canyon Kid, but eventually I had to justify the name and I said it because of the accent. From the canyons formed by the large buildings in New York where I was brought up. And they bought that. <laughs> <laughs> Canyon Kid signed on when station KVTV first went on the air in 1953, corralling viewers for 32 years until the last roundup. We had uh, Story Lady Day on a Monday, and we had the, uh, the pets on Tuesday. Pet Day was always a very scary day uh, because you never were quite sure what was going to happen. Somebody's raccoon ate somebody's turtle. We had a talent day. There were cartoons, but part of the show was, was interviewing the children. Okay, I was a baton twirler, and um, I performed on Canyon Kids' show. And um, it was um, scary. It was the first time I had ever performed on television. We used to watch him all the time. Customers of Applebee's restaurant vividly remember the show, especially after passing by Canyon Kids' wall of memories. And the vest, here it is in all its glory. There were 360 badges on this vest, and they're from, from children all over. People would pick up badges when they went someplace, and I still have boxes and, and jars of badges. And then kids, when you did personal appearances, kids would look over the vest to see if they could find their badge. That's 1953. That's the first person I ever interviewed, Hoot Gibson, who was a big cowboy star back in the 30s, I believe. And the picture next to that is the probably the last set that we had when I had two new friends, uh, Sam the Serpent and, uh, and the Old Timer. Are you ready for the birthday song? Well, yeah, I think I am. Are you? Yeah, I'm ready. Well, then, let's take a look at the birthday board. Find out. Somebody sent to me a stuffed squirrel, a mounted squirrel, and I had it on the set as a, as a prop. The first thing you know, I'd say, here, you want to see the squirrel? And I'd pass the squirrel down through 20 kids, and they'd all touch the squirrel and pet the squirrel. I guess the purpose of the show was to entertain children. Along the way, I wanted them to get some sense of how to live right, like be kind to your friends, obey your mother and father, those kind of things. There's some happy day in someone's life that you're partly responsible for. And uh, I was the only boy on the show. He had a whole troop of Girl Scouts. So I got to sit right next to Canyon Kid on that program. It's always with a smile when people are telling you that. I just kind of feel good about it. 